Go Puff. Gone. Right, they're done. These guys are done. Go Puff puts 22 warehouses on the chopping block. Then ain't a good sign, my friends, as the fast delivery sector suffers a post-pandemic slump. Right? So they had their little high. They all spent their money. They made some cash. They dipped in fingers in a cookie jar. And now, puff. Puff the magic dragon. Go Puff is closing or pausing 22 warehouses. Many of these locations handled a small number of orders a day. Rivals like Gorillas and Jetter are, did layoffs this month as funding for delivery companies gets tight. Go Puff is eliminating or reassessing 22 warehouses across the United States. About half of these warehouses will be shut down while the rest are being reassessed and could be shut down as well. One of these people said, while the fast delivery service isn't planning to pull out of any regions, many of the sites to be shuttered uh, were considered low volume and the company is looking to cut down on extraneous costs. This re uh, retrenchment comes in the midst of a slowdown across the e-commerce delivery sector that has hit highly funded startups like Gorillas and Jetta, along with giants like Amazon. Many of these businesses took off during the pandemic and they expanded operations furiously to meet demand, but the market has now shifted with fewer consumers saying, staying at home and ordering deliveries, rising interest rates and nervous investors have also put pressure on these companies to cut costs and start generating cash. Another one that's not generating cash. These investors wanna see cash. Some of uh, this is familiar territory for GoPuff since it's launched, since it launched in 2014, the company has closed unprofitable warehouses across the network from time to time. Earlier this year, it paused several plans to open up new warehouses. The company still plans to open up other fulfillment centers in areas it deems efficient, potentially combining two smaller facilities into a larger one and trying to get one fulfillment center to serve a broader territory, said one person familiar with the matter. Do you deliver for go puff or are you also like puff, 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 puffing away and leaving them? Let me know. These people who spoke with Insider, if they wrongfully deactivated you in any way, by the way, contact me, right? Go to gigrocket.com. Um, go puff currently has more than 600 fulfillment centers around the world, up from 250 a year ago. But the broader economic environment also looms over go puff's latest decision. In the last week, rivals Gorillas and Jetta had significant layoffs. Gorillas let go 300 workers, including half of its corporate staff. Jetta eliminated 14% of its workforce or more than 4,000 people. GoPuff it itself laid off 3% of its global workforce or more than 400 employees in March. GoPuff may be better positioned than many competitors, although it is still expected to lose money this year. The company has around $2 billion in capital, which it's burning fast. Um, which should give it more cushion during a rough patch. Managing warehouses during, during an economic slowdown is becoming a sticking point for the industry, affecting companies as large as Amazon. After exploding in size during the pandemic, Amazon's growth has slowed and it now finds itself with more warehouse space than it needs. The company is anticipating subleasing 30 million square feet of warehouse space or renegotiate leases, according to Wall Street. So there it is. There it is. Go puff. Puff the magic dragon. Let me know if you work for them. Have a good day.